He was the pillar of strength. The Stags, Mr. Everything. But as last year's season wore on, Anthony Johnson seemed to wear out. He had no idea why. Like, my game just started falling. So I thought it was like just like a drought like that everyone goes through. And so he worked harder, which as it turns out was probably the worst thing he could do. What Johnson and everyone else didn't know at the time was that he had developed a blood clot in each lung, a potentially fatal condition. The fatigue got worse and so did the pain, never more evident than in last year's game against St. Peter's. I went up and dunked and then I was like, okay, I can't. Like I just went to the side and just laid on the bench because I couldn't do anything else. I couldn't sit up because it was hurting so bad. The only thing more intense than the pain was his desire to play and to not let his teammates down until finally an ambulance had to take him to the hospital where he got the bad news. I was in my room by myself and one of the nurses came in. It was before the doctor and she came in and told me like what had happened. But she was like, you could never play basketball again. And then the, the doctor came in and told me like what could have happened. And then I was like, OK, that makes it like it's more than just basketball. I could have died on the court. Johnson stayed in the hospital receiving treatment for a week, a painful week. And one night was probably like the worst night ever because like I just got like the worst pains, like the worst pains in my sides. And it was like I felt like, all right, this is it. Like I'm not going to make it to tomorrow. At that time, I felt like probably death would be better than how that felt because it was like someone just was just was stabbing me in my side and just kept doing it. Doctors never figured out what caused the blood clot, but were able to treat it with medication, and now he's working himself back into basketball shape. That was horrible. Uh, I never could. Like, every time I ran, it just wasn't how I used to run. Like, I, I would get tired after the first sprint. He says he's at about 80% now, but knows he works out and plays with a risk. While doctors have cleared him, there's always the threat of the clots returning. There's a possibility of everything. So I'm going to take the possibility of playing because I love playing. It would have been more scary if I knew I wasn't going to play. Johnson will be monitored closely, but he's made it clear nothing will keep him off the court. When he's not working out with the team, hey, he's finding a game with students. And now he appreciates it even more because he came so close to having it all taken away from him. Ready for impact? Oh! 